This video will demonstrate how to debug code using Microsoft Visual Studio. We're going to use this program that calculates a number of com combinations for our demonstration. Here's our formula for calculating a combination where n is the number to choose from and r is the number chosen. And here's the code for the program. We have a function for calculating a factorial. And when we hit the calculate button, we're going to read n and r from the screen, calculate combination from our formula, and return that value to the screen. Okay, let's run the program. Okay, let's put in a 5 for n for R and hit calculate and it should give us an answer and we have gotten an error so we're gonna have to debug the code to find out where our logical error is so let's stop the program by hitting debug stop debugging we're going to put a breakpoint at the beginning of our program to stop execution to stop execution at that point so let's run the program again and 5 r2 calculate and we click back to the program and this yellow line is where the program has stopped. This line has not been executed yet. And you see if you click on a variable it'll show you its values. n is equal to 0 and text.n.text .text is equal to 5 because it hasn't been executed yet. And down in the left bottom corner it'll show you all the values of the variables. So we're going to step through this program. To step through, we hit debug, and there's options for stepping over and stepping into. Stepping over will go to the next line if there's a even if there's a subroutine on that line. Step into will step into any subroutines on that line. So first we're going to step over. F10. And it's gone to the next line and you see the N now has a value of 5. Debug. We'll step over again. Go to the next line. R has a value of 2 now. And now we're going to debug. Step over this time and we've gotten our error. So we knew our error is somewhere on this line. Now this time we're going to run it again, debug, stop debugging, and this time we're going to step into the function factorial. Okay, so we run our program again, n is 5, r is 2, calculate, stop at the breakpoint. To set a breakpoint, all you do is you click this gray area and it sets a breakpoint. Okay, so we're going to step debug, step into, and you notice that it's F11 that is used for this function. Step into goes to the next line. So we're going to use F11 to go from line to line. F11, and we're back to where our error is, F11, and this time it enters the factorial function. F11 again, we've entered the for loop, and notice at the bottom it shows you the value of variables. Okay, and now we run, hit F11 again, and we see that factorial is equal to zero. That's not what we want. So we notice that our error is we did not initialize factorial. So let's
let's go ahead and make factorial equal to 1. Okay, and we think this is going to fix our errors. So this time we're going to get rid of this breakpoint. We're going to set a breakpoint at the end of each function right here. So we go to debug, stop debugging to stop the program. Okay, and let's run the program again. Okay, n is equal to 5, r is equal to 2, calculate, and this time goes through the program and it breaks at the end of the function call. And we see the number is equal to 5 and factorial is equal to 120, which is what we want because 5 factorial is 120. And you notice there's three factorial functions. One for n, one for r, and one for n minus r. So factorial n, which is 5, has just been run and that's working correctly. So let's hit continue again and this time number is 2 that's for factorial r and the value is 2 so that's working correctly. We hit it again and we're at factorial n minus r 5 minus 2 is 3 number is equal to 3 factorial value is 6 so that's working also. We hit it again and we get an answer of 10. So it looks n like now our program is working correctly. So let's r run it one more time. Get rid of all breakpoints. We'll get rid of, we'll get rid of all the breakpoints and run the program again. for n, 2 for r, calculate, and we get our answer. That's it for our program. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.